everybody welcome back to my channel uh, on today's video I am going to show you the beginning of our kitchen renovation uh, as I, I had uh, told you in a previous video a short video uh, we had planned to do some renovation on uh, in the bathroom in the kitchen uh, we are just about to finish the uh, bathroom renovation and I will be showing that video and we are just starting our kitchen renovations we are not doing a complete overhaul we are just doing an upgrade uh, on some of the things so we will be changing the worktops we'll be changing the sink the tub we will be painting our old kitchen uh, drawers so that is a good way to be resourceful instead of uh, buying a new cabinets you can always paint them if you, if you do not have uh, the funds to upgrade it to a complete new cabinet and then we will also be putting in a new hob uh, a hood because we do not have a hood of our, our cooker and i will also be changing the tiles we haven't yet we haven't yet decided what kind of tiles we, we are going to go for but we are uh, thinking probably we will do the subway tiles and we will also be doing uh, the flooring so I am sure by the end of this renovation this kitchen will be nothing be exactly as it's looking right now so bear with me and come with me in this journey as we see the transformation of this kitchen into my dream kitchen so let's work on uh obviously the first preparations um when you're preparing to do a renovation is um if you're still going to keep the cabinets like we are uh, I would advise you remove the cabinet handles because um, you want to make sure that you are cleaning all parts of the cabinets. Uh, I am using a uh, sugar concentrated um, wash which is good for cleaning all kinds of dirt and grease so I'll be cleaning the grease and all the dots that have accumulated uh, over time on uh, uh, the drawers uh, before I sun them and then I will be doing the first coat. I will only be doing the first coat at the beginning before we start the actual renovation and then uh, when we've done everything, we've done the tiling, we've done all the other things that we need to do, that's when we will sand it again and then do the final uh, painting i have decided to go with a white theme for the kitchen so um i just want a better uh, clean look modern looking but not very uh, modern i still want to uh, maintain a traditional look in my kitchen so while i am going more of a Scandinavian theme. I want to retain that kind of um, a farm kind of a farmhouse uh, kind of a style kitchen.
uh, if you're deciding to change uh, the color of your cabinets like I am uh, it is advisable um, before you paint the cabinets that you sand them because uh, when you sand them you make the surface of the cabinets a little bit rough and that helps uh, to be able to um, get the new paint that you want on the surface to actually penetrate through um, the surface so it's very important to follow the instructions of the paint that you are using to do your cabinets so I did sand all the cabinets down uh, the last cabinet at the very end I did not sand it because we are actually removing that um, last bit of the cabinet because we will be pushing over where you can see the washing machine we will be pushing it uh, a little bit further on because that's where we will be putting the dishwasher at least that's uh, one thing that we've decided to improve is to even though we'll be losing um, a cabinet space but we will be putting in a dishwasher which is going to help us especially uh, doing uh, during busy um, weekdays when you are so pressed and you have had a hard day and you also after having cooked a family dinner you still have to do the cleanup so that um, I think is a good decision so um, it's advisable if you're doing some updates or a complete overhaul renovation to think about things which you might uh, add on and for us that is one feature that we are adding on so um, an appliance upgrade uh, or an addition like for us <coughs> is something to think about Uh, I decided only to paint outside and also the shelving in the cabinet but I won't be um, painting inside uh, the doors and the inside uh, part of the door so it will remain this, the same original color uh, this is the first coat so it is just the first paint and later on when we've already done the 
worktops and we've done uh, the tiling that's when I will actually uh, do the finishing uh, painting uh, and that is also a good way to be resourceful with uh, whatever things that you have that way you are um, this our renovation is actually a very budget friendly renovation uh, I think uh, after everything we we will will have done uh, we will, the costings as as far as we have done uh, it's around 2000 or even less so at the end of the video I will let you know how much we have actually spent this is the first part of a two or three part series of this uh, kitchen renovation so this is the only this is the first part where we are just doing um, the painting we'll also doing be doing uh, removing the tiles and removing the worktops and then in the later I will be showing as we um, do other bits Uh, my husband also after I did the painting he removed all the tiles uh, as you will be seeing later all the tiles now are completely removed and as I said before that shelf is being removed because that space we are going to move all the those two shelves we are going to move them further ahead and then in that space we will add the um, right where he is attaching uh, some new pipings for the extra um, dishwasher so um, with that done now he is removing the sink and he will also be removing the worktop and now he can cut in and we will be putting in a new sink I wanted a nice uh, modern sink a black one for that matter I also did buy a black tap so those are the little different kind of upgrades because I did not want to have a stainless steel because um, sink because stainless steel um, appliances are quite hard to maintain especially because they uh, tend to leave watermarks on them and stains and it is hard to keep up Uh, with the empty space uh, my husband has removed the drawers and now he is putting in a new plus board before he can put the drawers back and then uh, he will be cutting in the board uh, where the sink uh, needs to be put so that's what he's doing at the moment he's just cutting the space so that <clears throat> You can put in the worktop and put the new sink in so yeah everything is going according to plan uh, this renovation is actually surprisingly taking us less time than when we did 
the bathroom renovation but yeah it's a little bit more experience because when we were doing the bathroom renovation we were doing as no novices uh, but now he's gained a little bit of more experience so this uh, kitchen renovation is actually going according to plan So guys, as you can see, uh, the kitchen uh, worktops are already in. I can show this. Uh, this worktop, as you can see, it's a little bit more extended than the original one, which means there is extra space here, which my husband is going to be making some uh, shelving. So that will be extra space. And for me, I will be having extra space uh, for the worktop. This side of the kitchen, I am... Uh, and I am going to prepare it and make it uh, breakfast, uh, come coffee um, prep area. So that gives me extra space. And on this side as well, he extended the worktop. So as you can see, there is an extra space here and here he will also be making some shelves. So that is extra storage area for putting some things which um, we use on an everyday space uh, basis. So I am excited. Uh, this is the progress as, as as it goes. And on the next video, I will, will I will be showing you as my husband starts tiling. We have decided to go with the subway tiles. Uh, these are the subway tiles we are going to be using. So please stay tuned because um, I am doing this video in two parts. Or three parts depending on how long it will take us to do uh, some of the bits but uh, the next part we will start doing the tiling and if you enjoyed this video uh, please make sure to subscribe uh, leave a like uh, leave a comment and make sure that uh, you do not miss the next part of the video as I will be uploading as soon as we are done in this kitchen otherwise thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one